also off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? Let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. Things are happening so fast. It can take years for the game to slow down. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Official. Anything can be a foul. All right. Los Angeles Lakers are considered one of the greatest franchises in sports. Look at their history of winning. You know, Richard, it's just astonishing the amount of titles the Lakers have piled up over the years. And because of their success and the big market, it's L.A. It is showtime. That's how they get players like Shaquille O'Neal and LeBron James. Players want to play in L.A. because it's beautiful and there's a winning tradition. Just five on the clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. They get it again. Hurt. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play. Nice work, Brad. Keep up that call. Play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second-chance points do not come by accident. You know, one thing, Greg, the Thunder have done a great job drafting international players. Players like Serge Ibaka, Steven Adams in the past. A few good ones on this current roster as well. Credit the OKC scouts for just finding guys all over the world. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. First quarter just over a minute played. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks. Mark Gagnon and I got a chance to talk for a bit. He's looking for his guys to put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect the rim and make it hard for shooters to get clean looks. This is the first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. Thank you, David. Obviously, they feel that's the strategy that will earn them the W. And Kevin, when you're disruptive defensively, especially early on, that can help change the complexion of the rest of the game. And that priority on defense establishes a team-first mentality. Guys have to work as a unit. It's a good mindset to get into early. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Oklahoma City moving it around to the inside. Here's Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. And this is Gilgis Alexander's responsibility to find his guys when they're open. And MP throws it down hard. Oh, that's a big time flush from MP. He enjoys flashing his athleticism on these finishes. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. That's tipped and stolen by MP. Got a hand on it. Here's Dort. 12 points his last outing. And Davis sends it back. A big block from the big fella, Anthony Davis. Oh, he's a high flyer. Oh, that was nasty. That's just filthy. You have got to be kidding. Hey, talk about taking things into your own hands. Inside, here's Bird. Oh, and the jam by Bird. The knee just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better. What? Come on, man. That's a soft foul. Who's been the best franchise in league history? Celtics or the Lakers? Come on, Kevin. You are putting me on the spot, but... Uh, I'd go with the Lakers, more superstars over the years. And I think that 2000s run with Kobe and company, that put them ahead in my estimation. Now, here's Holmgren, guarded by Green. Kennard's shot is off. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They lead by four. Releases. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. 
very good inside. Dort's got great upper body strength. Baseline J on the way. Doesn't go that time. So the Thunder will take it the other way. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. And Davis pulls it down. Well, it was the Los Angeles Lakers winning their last game against the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. The coaching staff has been happy with how well they've executed the game plan. They operated as a cohesive unit. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Bird's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Now, here's Holmgren. Started by Green. Holmgren kicks to Kanaan. And that one hits back iron. You know, he might want to think about deferring for a while. He's had his chances this quarter, but just not able to convert. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. On the wing, Burke. From the baseline. A rebound by the Lakers. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. MP against Bird. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. Horrible mistake right there. Yeah, he... The Thunder. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Coming off 31 points last game. Outside, Dort. Now the pass to Holmgren. Back to Dort. And he converts the layup. Dort's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance bucket. And MP throws it down. The selfless attitude of James when someone on his team has a clean look. Look, he feeds him. Irving against Gilgis Alexander. Got it. Good job in the low post. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And a wide open look for MP. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. MP's got 15. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter, especially. Kennard against MP. Kennard, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Just four to shoot. Here's Holmgren. No good on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. You guys, a big part of it. What? Come on, Red. That's a soft foul. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Okashevsky's checked in. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Absolutely stone cold at the line thus far. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Passes it to Bird. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Akusevsky can't hit. Lakers trail by three. On the wing, MP. Defended by Dort. Loads it up for Davis. An emphatic LU jam. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. The Thunder shooting 45% from the field early. And here is Gilgis Alexander. Look at those numbers of his. You just can't say enough about the work he's doing at the offensive end. He's averaging about 30 and a half points a game. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. And Greg Anthony for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Part of a growing trend in this NBA, giving his team length in the backcourt. The uh, 6 6 with a 6 11 wingspan. He can see over the top of the defense. He helps you on the glass. He's 
checked in for the Thunder. Jones comes in for Dort. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Cameron Payne's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. And even if Gilgis Alexander isn't the fastest guy out there, he stays in balance and it helps him to be effective. You think you're the GOAT now, FB? The unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. Here's Bird. And that one goes long. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to MP. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. Talent on full display for MP. This guy's putting on a clinic. And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. Balls checked in for Draymond Green. Coming on to the floor for the Lakers, Paul. To the paint, here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot's good, Brown making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points. And he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. And, and cutting to the rim with assertiveness, MP has no problems taking charge. For Oklahoma City, their last game was a loss to Atlanta. Shooting foul as well. Anthony Davis. Second personal foul. Second foul. Scoring breakdown here for Los Angeles. Green, he's checked in for the Lakers. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over MP. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by four. And here's MP for three. It's rebounded by MP. Good rebound right now in the game. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And so Bird will bring it up for the Thunder. Right wing. MP against Gilgis Alexander. Kicks it out to Jones. Here's Pakusevsky. Last game he had 12. And here we go. MP heading to the hoop. And great execution there. MP completes that one on the break. Here's Jones. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the three off target. And sometimes on defense, eh, you could just get lucky. And out of bounds is the Thunder gain possession. Breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. Thunder trailing by five. There's the pass to Pakusevsky. Now here's Jones. Launches it. Green with the rebound. And so it's the Lakers with it. MP. And there's another one for the Lakers. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. And they double up MP. Payne kicks to MP. With the drive. And MP throws it down. Yeah, MP races in and goes straight up, catching the defense. Man, they were not focused. Down low. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist by Jones. Gilgis Alexander's got 15. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And out of bounds is the... You gotta do more than that. Back to Jones. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Bird sets the screen for Brown. And contact on the shot. First personal foul, 15 foul. 
It allows you to switch on defense. Brown played everything from the one to being a stretch four. That's how proof a second round pick stick in this league. A little breakdown there, letting him get that rebound. You can't allow that to happen. From 11 feet away, and again it's Oklahoma City. And it's not the highlight reel plays that make Gilgis Alexander effective. It's the little things, like his lethal mid-range jumper. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Pass to Jones. He kicks it to Brown. Now Gilgis Alexander, covered by MP. To the inside. Green, the pass to MP. Gilgis Alexander against MP. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And that one is good. 19 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And have yourself a night, Shea. We know he can dish it, but when he needs to, SGA can just take over offensively. Jones for three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. We've got Luke Kennard. He's out there with Jones. Lou Dort out there with Holmgren. And it's Pokushevsky in at the four. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. MP in the last game against Denver delivered quite a performance. He scored an amazing number of points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Back to Davis. On the wing, Irving. It's blocked. Jones looking for an opening. Pass to Kinnar. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Akusevsky, the pass to Holmgren. Five to shoot. Here's Kinnar. No good. That would have tied it. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. And it's Jones with the ball for the Thunder. No points yet here in the second quarter for them. Pass to Pakusevsky. And here's Kanar. It's good, and the drought is over. One for nine after eight straight misses. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim, unabated in stride. MP, good. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Knocked loose. To the middle. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got his fifth rebound in this one. MP against Jones. Here's Dort. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Some physicality there from Lou. Pushing past the contact and into the shot. MP. And he slams it down right on top of Chet Holmgren. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Thank you. 
Ruben comes in for Pokushevsky. Jang is checked in for Dort. And Shea Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Luke Kanon. The Lakers also changing it up. Halls checked in for Davis. MP comes in for Moutier. And it's Payne in for Kyrie Irving. Goodness, man, my God. MP, man, he's in his bag tonight. Jang finds Gilgis Alexander. And Los Angeles. Cameron Payne. First person to fall. At the line for your home city. Shane Gilgis Alexander. He's off on the second. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And yes, it's good. Jones has got eight points. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. To the wing on the left. Chang, the pass to Jones. Bird is screen on MP. Let's it go from 11. Pocket six. Back to Jones. And stolen by MP. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And a miss there on the triple. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Takes it off the glass. MP. MP's got 48. It's just hard to believe that someone can perform at such a high level. They've got to thank him for this lead. Good work there as it goes. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. And good! There's another. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Looking at Oklahoma City, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Hawks in Atlanta. Here's Jones. A shot off that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And there's the pass to Hall. Well placed LU pass into the layup. Nice MP. feed by MP, a popular guy in this locker room. 54 seconds left in the first half of the game. Inside, here's Jones, and the rejection by James. And here's MP for three. Connects from three-point range. For three. MP's got 53. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And another one. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Brown. He feeds it to Bird. Over James. They get the rebound. Passes it to Jones. To halt the run. The shot missing. Good defense by MP. James up top. Here's MP. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers rolling along with a 27 point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Back right after this. Over in the East, Ben Simmons. We've seen how Simmons can take over a game, but lately he's dominated. Now looking at the first half of play in our featured game, what a disaster it's been for the Thunder. They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. And that's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And that about wraps it up.
And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. Taking a look at the Lakers, we've got Davis. LeBron James is out there with Draymond Green. Then it's MP, and it's Irving in at the guard position. And the wide open shot from Green. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Oh, that is just unreal. Is this the dunk contest, or are we actually playing a real game? No, no, this one counts, Greg. Believe me, <laughs> oh, my confidence goodness. to attempt that alley-oop to himself. The Thunder shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. To the paint. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. I like the intention, the focus, finding a way to make it work inside. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. Wow, you guys are terrible. Where's the effort? Or for yourself. Second half just getting started, about a minute played. As team first as anyone in this league, Green is always looking to dish. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Green with the block. Kennard on the wing. Trains it from beyond the arc. Kennard's got seven points in the game. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league, and so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. The Lakers have gone 3-3 three three from the field since halftime. Here's MP, and oh boy, a lot of contact there. Oh, that's a really nice job from MP to invite the contact and then get to the line. And he makes both free throws. Gilgis Alexander with it. 20 points for him. Pass to Bird. Kicks to Holmgren. Kennard with the ball. Now Holmgren, just five to shoot. Over Green, and the call will be against Luke Kennard. Third personal foul, second team foul. The Lakers controlling the game. Here's LeBron, and James throws it down hard. And now he has a triple-double, 11 points, 10 assists, and 12 rebounds. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's storied franchises. And Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Worthy. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> well, he, he's got a point, David. And we thank you. Oh my wow. goodness, what a oh play. Oh my. One of the most ferocious dunkers we've ever seen. James still enjoys putting on a show. Oklahoma City's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Bird is screen on green. Inside. Bird kicks to Dort. And James pulls it down. James has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. 
This is the defensive intensity you have to have against Davis inside, but he still powers through it. You know, Richard, as LeBron's game has evolved, it seems like his distribution has gotten even better. Yeah, more than ever, he's really sharing the load, getting others involved. In 2020, he led the league in assists for the first time in his career, proof that he's just a team-first player. Now, here's George. Seven points in the game. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and a strong finish with two hands. Well, Dort makes the smart play there. He spots a wide-open shooter and just gets him the ball. To the inside, and Irving with the basket on the assist by MP. MP's got his seventh assist in the game. Thunder have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. And here's Kennard. He gets that one. Kennard's got 10 points now just in this quarter. This is not the same guy we saw in the first half. Credit him for finding a way to shake off those first two quarters. And there's the whistle on the shot. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis taking two shots. Shang comes in for Dort, and Jones subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And Payne, no good on that one. A unique type of player, Chet with great length and skill, but the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. Hakusevsky, the pass to Brown. Oklahoma City moving it around, and he gets it to go. Holmgren's got 10 points. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing. Oklahoma City. But as we both know, he's very tough. He's aggressive and willing to take contact at both ends. He's also strong mentally. Can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up with the Thunder. And the foul called on MP. And that'll be his third foul so far. 13 foul. Here's Jones. He's got 10. To the left side wing. And stolen by MP. You've got to do a better job of just taking care of the basketball. Four points off of those turnovers. And the Thunder pushing it up now. Over in the corner, Brown. Outside, Jones. Here's Jang. Misses the three. LA's on two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. MP, Thunder with the rebound. Jang with the ball. On the wing, Brown. Pass to Pakusevsky. On the wing, Jones. Six to shoot. Pakusevsky, the pass to Jones. Here's Chang. No good on the three. Feeds it to MP. And the layup's good off the glass. Uh, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Jang high post. Over MP. Out left to the wing. Here's Pakusevsky. The Thunder with another miss. The Lakers controlling the game. The pass to Payne. Kicks it out to MP. Here's Davis and finished off by Davis. Well, look, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the glass, and he just turns rebounds into points so easily. Oklahoma City shooting around 48% so far in the third. Here's Jang. It's hauled in by MP. 
He hasn't even made one point at this quarter. Man, his team desperately needs him to get going. And it's good, two points. Payne's got six. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Brown finds Jang out to the wing. Brown outside. Trying to get something going. No good there. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Back to MP. Ilya Silva inside the line, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's him. Your favorite, 85. The Lakers, 125. different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four they've got Chang Jones is out there with Williams then there's Anderson and it's Kennedy in at the five roaming the paint that's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City good defense by MP and Los Angeles guys uh, shooting it as well as you're gonna see 67 percent again what an avalanche and he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Williams, that's a two-pointer. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Look, on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Like we know a lot of teams using former now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect, also how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Gilgis Alexander against Moutier. Gilgis Alexander passes to Kennedy. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgic, doesn't yeah. it? The drive by MP, and it's good for two. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Anderson with the screen for Williams. Takes the three. The Thunder get it back in a new 14. Jang the pass to Anderson. Five on the clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Rodriguez pulls it down. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And don't sleep on the bounce from MP. He says, I, I got a little bit of that as well. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw. Shooting one. Defensive foul. Emmanuel Moutier. Second personal foul. First two foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City. One shot. Shane Gilgis Alexander. At the line for one. And for a while there, Greg, it seemed like we were entering the super team era. But lately, homegrown talent. Players you draft and develop or sign and develop. Seen. Yeah, and it's not easy to maintain a culture when you're bringing in stars from outside. We've seen some cautionary examples here of late. And both free throws good for MP. 
The Thunder have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. The kick out to Williams. Anderson outside. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Gilgis Alexander deciding where to go with it. Excellent D that time from Jones. Rodriguez left side. Back to MP. On the wing, Williams. Down low. Jang. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here's MP. And the call on the shot. It's Back to line for the Lakers. MP taking two shots. The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No, oh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. <laughs> Get ourselves fired up. You game? No. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pass. Like garbage right now. Come on. The the MP. Need some contact the and free throw opportunity. MP. And the play-in tournament, Greg, is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat in limbo. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs. It's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. Passes to Reeves. MP against Williams. Here's MP. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Oklahoma City's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Now Bird. Outside Williams. Anderson with the screen for Williams. Can't hit that one. The Lakers go the other way with it. Here's MP. Unable to get that one. Good D by Anderson. The Thunder have gone 5 of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Williams against Rodriguez. Misses off the right iron. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Stolen by Anderson. Now here's Williams. Pass to Anderson. Lays it up and banks it in. Anderson's got his first points of the game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's MP with plenty of space. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Bird's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And here we go. Fast break, and Bird's got it. And Anderson slams it in. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And all James checked in for the Lakers. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's uh, contributing. Two free throws uh, coming up. Anderson. Vote on awards like all-rookie, but, Greg, those awards 
can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. No doubt about it, he has done a ton to help this team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. LeBron against Jang. Here's Anderson. And he banks in the layup. Anderson's got six points in the quarter. I just love when teams make it work down low. For Los Angeles, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Moutier kicks to MP. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Up top, Jang. Anderson right side. Back to Jang. He dishes it to Anderson. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts the move on. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Ooh, he's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. The Thunder pull it in. Anderson's got four rebounds now tonight. In the corner, it's Bird. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And Kennard wide open. He shoots. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. Nice feed inside. Saw the play develop and hit him right when he needed to. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. To the middle. Bird's shot is good. If they're going to want to close the gap, they're going to need to start running more sets through him. Let your stars lead the way. Come on. MP against Kennard. MP, no good. Oklahoma City's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Gilgis Alexander. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. MP, no good. Here's Oklahoma City now. Kennard with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Chang against MP. And Zhang kicks to Kanaw. That three off the mark. Lakers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. A three from MP. Drills it from outside. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Kennard against MP. Kennard, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now Bird. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. The pass to Kennard. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Kennard's got five points in the quarter. Lakers have gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46-47%. And that's what they teach you at every level. Get a body on your man. Box out. Grab the board. Richard, I know you've been to Africa. Your mom did a lot of great work there. How gratifying is it to see the investment that the NBA now is making over there? Well, I look at how basketball changed my life and allowed me to accomplish so many great things. And then the more people that have the opportunity to allow basketball to change their lives, you've got basketball without borders, you have academies in basketball, you now have the Basketball Africa League. It's great to see these opportunities extended to more people across the globe. That's why basketball is a global game. Kennard for three. Moutier with the rebound. Moutier's got four rebounds in this game. Here's MP. Bird pulls it in. Bird's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Kennard with the ball. Now defended by MP. And that one, good. We've got 148 left to play here in the fourth. A steal. Steal. 
to the paint. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Yep, it counts. Gilgis Alexander's got 31. That's a guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. Here's MP. And foul on the shot. And the free throw line. Free throw good, MP. For the Thunder, Brown is checked in for Anderson. And Jones subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And the Lakers making a change here. And both free throws good for MP. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you... At the line for the Lakers, Cameron Payne. At the line for two. And he sinks the second. 122 left in the fourth. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And a milestone win for the season. This will push their victory total to 20 wins even. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the two. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for MP. His overall stat line really says it all. I think a triple-double game for him, getting it done everywhere on the floor. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game, saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Kennard shot is off. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. The drive by MP. And MP throws it down. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Bird is screen on green. Will it go? Bird kicks to Kennard. For three... It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's MP. And it's Bird with the rebound. Got a piece of it. And the foul called on MP. That will get him. Outside, Jones. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg. But...